Hey guys, I am back with, with with another review. So today I'm going to be reviewing Unravel Me, Fracture Me, and the last book in the Shadow Me trilogy, which is Ignite Me. So to start off this review, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I did not like this trilogy. I know. I'm the only booktuber who did not like this trilogy, and it's it was so disappointing for me because of all the hype, and I've been wanting to read Shatter Me for a long time, so it stinks that I didn't really like it. I mean, it wasn't the worst trilogy I've ever read, it's just, I just didn't really like it that much, and I will tell you guys why. So basically, I gave all three books three to five lily pads. Then I gave the two novellas four out of five. So anyway, let's get started. So first, I'm going to do a little review for Unravel Me, which is the second book in the Shatter Me trilogy. So, this is probably my favorite book out of the whole trilogy. I don't know why. I think just because this one has the most action, and it was the least boring. I don't know. In this book, I just liked the story. I mean, there were, there were times where I was a little bored and I couldn't get into it, but this book was pretty good. It was a pretty good sequel. You guys are probably wondering, am I Team Warner or Team Adam? Neither. Neither. I don't like any of them. Okay, in Shatter Me, I liked Warner. I'm not, not Warner. In, in Shatter Me, I liked Adam. Adam, he was a pretty decent guy. He was really nice. He treated Julia well. Of course, you know, guys, Warner was evil. And I'm just going to show you this. So basically, Fracture Me is in Adam's point of view. And I thought it was pretty good. It was fine. I gave, I also gave Fracture Me four to five pads because it was so much better than the other books. Then so now let's finally get to the last book, which is Ignite Me. Oh, gosh. Do I have a lot to talk about? I have a lot to talk about. I mean, I, I had a lot of problems with this book. First of all, I'm gonna tell you guys, I didn't even I didn't even finish this book. This book was so bad, I couldn't even finish it. I didn't quit after 10 pages. I got to page like 360. So, I, it wasn't too bad, I had like 50, maybe 50 pages left. And I just couldn't finish this anymore. I'm, I said to myself, I am done with this trilogy. I am done reading it. This trilogy took me weeks and weeks to read. And that's really bad. Because if it takes you that long to read a trilogy, obviously you don't like it. This book was so boring and slow. I could not get into this book at all. I, actually, wait, wait. There were some moments where I was able to get into it. But most of the time, I could not get into this book. It was so boring. I'm just going to tell you guys what I liked first, and then I'll tell you guys everything I hated. <sighs> okay, that's the first. And if you guys love this trilogy, then stop watching this, because I'm honestly going to say why I didn't like it. Every, if I could think of it. Okay, so let's talk about the characters. So, I really liked Julia. She was fine. And, okay. Everyone loves Warner. Everyone loves him so much, they said he is just the coolest guy, the best guy, and honestly, I did not see it. I didn't really like Warner at all, even in, even in the last book. I don't know. He just, he didn't, to me, he didn't show much emotion, and I don't know, I just didn't like him. I, I don't know. He felt sort of one-dimensional to me, and I know he was like a villain, and then there's a big misunderstanding, and he ends up being the good guy, but still, I didn't like Warner. I don't, honestly, I don't get why everybody is Team Warner. I don't get it. So like I said before, this isn't really a dystopian, it's more like a romance, and honestly guys, I did not like the romance at all. Not just in this book, but in the other books as well, because to me, to me, it didn't feel like a real romance. And this is just my opinion, to me, with both, with both boys, it didn't feel like a like, real love to me or like a real relationship. I mean, I know Adam and Julia have known each other for years ever since they were younger, but think about it this way guys, they never actually talked to each other until, you know, until Shatter Me. And then, after that, they were all over each other. And I was like, okay. I was like, okay, I mean, it felt like insta-love. But it sort of wasn't, but I don't know. I had no idea. And then, okay, let's get on to Warner and Juliet. Everybody wanted Juliet to be with Warner. And I didn't. I mean, okay, like I said before, I'm, I wasn't Team Adam or Team Warner. I, didn't, I don't like either of them, honestly. Especially since 
Oh, I'll say I'll talk about Adam after. But um, I did not. I didn't believe in the romance at all, like Warner and Juliet. I'm not saying it was rushed. I mean, honestly, they didn't know each other that long. I know Warner always knew about Juliet ever like for years and years. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't care. But anyway, um, I don't know. I just I didn't believe. I didn't believe in their love. I didn't really think they had chemistry. I mean, because I felt like they just made out and stuff instead of just talking all the time. I mean, they did talk, but. It, their relationship was mostly with making out and touching each other, and I don't like that. For relationships, I like when the guy and the girl talk more, you know what I mean? And that's another thing about Warner. I I mean, you guys would probably all, you guys probably all see how much Warner loves Juliet. I mean, after reading his novella, I mean, I got it, but in this book, when him and Juliet got together, I don't know. Honestly, I feel like, I feel like he only loves Juliet, and, and he only wants her. For her body, like, so, like, I feel like he's obsessed with, like, touching her. I feel like that's mostly why he loves her. Like, her, he's obsessed with her body and, like, so, and, t and touching her, blah, blah, Like, you know what I mean? Am I the only one who thinks that? I didn't feel, like, a like, real love to me. Like, I didn't really see what Warner saw. I'm like, okay, but here's one nice thing I'm going to say about Warner. What I saw in Shatter Me and Destroy Me was, I, I did notice Something that, one thing I always liked about Warner, though, was he always believed in Julia. I mean, like, he saw her powers as, like, a good thing. And then later in, in Ignite, we find out why. Because, because of, because about his mom. But, like, that's one thing I actually liked about Warner. He, okay. So, I liked Adam and Shatter Me. And in Unravel Me, he was fine, maybe a little annoying, but I still liked him. And then, in Ignite Me, I hate the author. In Ignite Me, she completely changed Adam. She made him be, she made him go from the nicest, the nicest guy, to a complete jerk. Like, oh my gosh, he was in Ignite Me. He was so mean, and he was angry all the time. And when I was reading his conversations with Juliet, I wanted to like punch him in the face. And there were times where I rolled my eyes. Like, he was, oh my gosh, he was so mean. I'm like, why was he so mean all of a sudden? Like, he was so mean to Julia. Like, he yelled at her. He told her he wished she was dead. And he never wants to see her again. He told her to get out of his apartment. And everybody else on Julia, I'm like, he was so mean. He's not the same character as he was in other books. And the author did that on purpose. She made you hate Adam in this book because she wants you to, well, she wants you to love Warner. That's why. And I was really disappointed. I mean, I was never team Adam either. But she, she completely changed his character. I was like, this is not the same Adam. I hated him in this book. <sighs> I hate when I loved Kenji. He was the best character in this whole trilogy. He's the reason why I kept reading. He is just such a nice guy. He was so funny. And he treated Julia well. And this review was getting way too long. I'm so sorry. But that's it. Today. Even though I did not really like this trilogy. Of course I would still recommend it. Because there's so much hype. Everyone, everyone on book two loves it. Except for me. So I would really recommend this Choji. So you guys, if you guys haven't read the Shadow Me Choji yet, you should. Because it's, it wasn't my, it wasn't the worst Choji or stairs I ever read. It wasn't that bad, but I just didn't really love it. So yeah, you guys should go read it. I really recommend it, even though I didn't really like it. But just because I don't like a book doesn't mean you guys won't. So anyway guys, that is it for today. Thank you so, so much. I love you guys so much. Bye.